Now that the FCC has already voted to repeal Title II net neutrality protections, they are now on to their next mission to even further fuck up the internet. So what Ajit Pai now wants to do is reclassify cell data as broadband. Now, at face value, you might think, well, why does this matter? Why is this significant? Because I can reclassify a carrot as a hot dog, but that still doesn't change the essence of what a carrot is. Well, the problem, however, is that this would be a significant change that will ultimately lower the standards of broadband internet service in America. Now, as Kaylee Rogers of Motherboard explains, this idea to reclassify smartphone data as broadband was first proposed in August, but with the net neutrality repeal out of the way, the FCC is expected to vote on the proposal by February 3rd. Currently, the FCC defines broadband connection as 25 megabits per second download speeds and 3 megabits per second upload speeds minimum. The new proposal would keep these minimums in place for fixed wireline broadband, but also expand the definition to include cell phone data coverage. This would not only camouflage many of the communities in the U.S. with no access to the internet, but could prevent them from getting necessary funding to build that access. Cell service is often slower, more expensive, and comes with data caps, and even tethering a computer to a phone for internet isn't a long-term solution, especially for families with multiple people trying to log on at once to do homework or work or watch Netflix. It seems antithetical to all other efforts we're doing, said Deb Sosik, the executive director of Next Century Cities, a coalition of municipalities aimed at expanding local broadband access. I spent a good part of my life as a teacher and a principal. If I had a classroom full of children that included a lot of failing students, I wouldn't change my standards to increase the number of passing grades, I'd change the intervention. Though the process to change these definitions is not as formal as what was required to roll back net neutrality rules, there was still an opportunity for groups to comment this summer, and if there's enough public backlash, it could potentially meet a different fate. Now that's probably the only part of this article that I disagree with, because as we've seen with net neutrality, even though the FCC received more than 23 million comments in the end, they still repealed it and didn't think twice about doing it. So, make no mistake about it, this is less important than repealing net neutrality, of course. But it goes to show you the overall trend and the direction the FCC is heading in under the leadership of Ajit Pai. They're trying to make sure that internet service providers can not only rip you off, but offer shittier service to you. And this proves it. Cell phone data is its own thing. It's not broadband. It's not. But in changing the definition of broadband to include cell phone data, that lowers the standards and thus is problematic. Now, the thing about this is that there was so much noise surrounding net neutrality, and rightfully so. This kind of snuck past us. I didn't know about this because, as you all know, there's a lot that the FCC is currently doing. I mean, they are removing subsidies. They're doing a lot to deregulate the industry so that way internet service providers and Ajit Pai's previous and future employer probably will make even more money, but this one just snuck past us. So we do have a little bit of time. They won't be voting on this until February 3rd. You can still tweet to Ajit Pai if you guys aren't already doing that, because I know you guys are relentless and you haven't stopped yet. I've tried to take a break from tweeting to Ajit Pai just so that way I don't seem like a stalker because we all know that uh, I'm not a fan of Ajit and he's probably not a fan of me either. I've talked about him quite a bit, but we do have to make sure that we put pressure on the FCC to stop this. But if you really have to pick and choose a battle, of course, net neutrality is more important. But understand that the battle for net neutrality, it heads to the courts. So these rules are just going to go into effect. They still have to be argued. But with this one, I mean, this is this is not a change that is that significant at face value. But since the FCC doesn't really need to do much to push this through. They just vote on it, and then it basically becomes law. There's, they're not going to have to defend this in court or anything like that. So it's difficult to anticipate the ways in which this will specifically lead to lower quality broadband, admittedly so. But at the same time, we shouldn't be lowering our standards. We should be increasing our standards so that internet service providers offer you better internet for more affordable prices. I mean, with how much we pay for internet, and when you compare our internet speeds in the United States to other countries, I mean, we are all getting a bad bargain. We pay too much and don't get enough. And this is why whenever I talk about net neutrality or the internet, I wanna encourage you to go to your city council meeting and push for public broadband because if you own the internet, 
you control the internet. It's in your hands, your tax dollars funded, then it's yours. No ISPs to uh, get rid of net neutrality. All the lobbying in the world wouldn't make a difference when it comes to net neutrality, although companies are trying to fight public broadband. But this is the way of the future, I think. And another thing we have to talk about is nationalizing the broadband industry. Since internet service pro providers like Comcast, AT&T, Verizon, since they don't care about providing more Americans with internet access and only care about increasing their profits, which, I mean, that's not surprising. They're companies. They have a fiduciary responsibility to increase shareholder value. So it's not surprising. But if we nationalize that industry and take out that profit motive, kind of like healthcare, well, we'll just have a better, faster, cheaper internet. So we need that. And the fight starts with you putting pressure on your city council to um, enact a public broadband bill so that way your city can get public broadband and you don't have to go through Comcast or Verizon. Uh, that really would be the permanent solution to all of these problems and all the damage the FCC is currently doing under the leadership of Ajit Pai. Support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash humanist report.